Hello everyone, we are continuing Spooky Season with the Dark Pictures Anthology, the third game in the anthology, The House of Ashes. It's been a while since I played one of these uh, super massive games on the channel. The last one we played was Little Hope, and that was quite a while ago, probably last year around this time. I don't even know. But anyways, we're going to get back into some of these. Don't expect any uh, good outcomes or anything. I am notoriously bad at decision making and the quick time events, but I always have a good time and uh, hopefully you guys will too. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the comments. Enjoy this series. <sighs> okay, A, B, X, Y. Left, right. New story. Ugh. Challenging. We gotta we gotta do the We can't go easy mode. <sighs> Controller, please. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. <coughs> Probably have alerts off. I don't know. Every choice has a consequence. I know. I know. Some decisions save lives. Others end lives. Lead to death. Choose wisely. You know what? Fuck you already. Fuck you already. Choose wisely. Well, I don't know what's going to happen when I make decisions. So it's all up to chance, really, and how much I pay attention. And this is already very disturbing. Twenty two thirty one B.C. No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Barato! Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to the cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. Well, times are not good right now, are they? Famine, plague, and a curse. The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Okay, no, I... I turned subtitles on when I... Hold on. Subtitles minimal. Oh, sidebar is on. Oh, I thought that was subtitles. We'll do all subtitles? Oh, minimal is only for the Arabic dialogue. Okay, sorry about that. Look around you. Is this hole not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. Sounds like a really young king. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. Tell me, General. 
Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Compliant or reluctant? By your command, should we keep her alive? Say nothing. My king. Reluctant? Would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> Press the matching prompt before the timer runs out. Okay, X. <laughs> Okay, Xbox controls. Xbox controls. We got this. We don't got this. Oh, God. <laughs> R to aim and right trigger... Press right trigger when the crosshair turns red. You do not have to attack. Okay, I guess I guess we're just gonna let her go for now. Oh. You've spent too long killing the calves in our cells, Balatu. You've lost your edge. Fine, I'll I'll be more edgy. I promise. Just a girl. Nothing but a girl. A girl? I see only a Gutian demon. <gasps> if you cannot kill in my name, General, then perhaps you can die for it. Fight well. I'm ready. I'm ready. Give me the prompts. Just don't make me do X's or B's cuz I just I can't do X's or B's, man. I'm going to get them wrong every time. What a cool looking place, though. So we're in, I'm guessing, Egypt. more like adult setting or whatever um the more mature setting the games of this that i played in the past has always been like teenagers so this is like a nice change gods give me strength Oh. 
we lost the battle. creature For forgiveness, but the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. I'll say. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. I would let his ruin become ours. <clears throat> this is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacombs. I think I should trust you? You have no choice. I'm ready. Oh god. Is it almost time for the quick time events? Just getting started. <laughs> Should we get a spoon for these rapid presses? Follow me. There is a way out through the tomb. Tomb? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Come. For the builders? So they after they build the temple, they just kill them or what? Press A in time with the heartbeat. Button may change to Y. Oh god. This, I hate. Okay, all right. Fuck. <laughs> ah! Oh, again? All this death for nothing. They died in vain for a mad king. Right trigger to pick up and R to examine. Some interactions reveal secrets. Secrets you find can be viewed in the collections and characters screen. Okay, so right trigger. And God damn it. Cheap shot. Cheap fucking shot, man. Find the exit. OK. 
Okay, what is this? Ooh, I can't read that. Premonition unlocked, oh god. Okay, so... <coughs> Secrets, oh gosh, there's so many. Pictures. Arisen is what it's called. And then we can view it anytime, so... There's like some kind of demonic being coming out of a hole in the ground. Am I going to remember that when the time is right? And even with that knowledge, will I know exactly what to do? We are cursed by our own actions. Why did your king create the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory, for greed. Okay, so it said I could look around and find more info, but... Um... Is there not more info in this tutorial that's telling me how to look for more info? Alright, well, I mean, let's see if we can see what's going on. Um, I see a guy with a bow and arrow. I see a sphinx thing. I mean, I really can't decipher this. I don't know, man. I don't know. Is there a run button? With this. <laughs> you first. We're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Let's be respectful. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. We help each other. I don't know if it's the same in this game, but in... It's always hope. I remember, like, in, um... Little Hope... What was that? They give you the option to be rude to people, but I feel like it's, it's, um... How many ways people you die if you're rude to them. So it's like, they don't really give you a choice. Die. But it might not be the case in this one. Here. Hello? Is it another rat? A very strong rat? Oh! Maybe run. B! Oh my god! There's no time! We're, we're dead There's already. No I've got it! Don't forgive us. There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! 
If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. Fight or betray? Uh, fight. Why would we... <laughs> the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> He's dead already. I'm sorry, dude. This is gonna be a rough playthrough. Is it like a... Balathu was the last to die in the Temple of the Catacombs. And I guess that's it. Wait a minute. Don't tell me that I'm going to play as teenagers now. An ancient xenomorph? Yeah, that's kind of what it reminded me of. on the edge of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation? Nope. Or be lost in the darkness forever? Most likely. Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. I feel sorry for those people. <laughs> I'm sorry. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do every decision or mistake you make okay but you could make this me look good in it right like you know you could help me out a little bit right it is filled with untold stories stories about friends and enemies loyalty and betrayal life and death understand that i am not here Although, I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. So whenever he offers me help, I take it, and then it, I, I, it never helps me. Because I'm just <laughs> too <bad>. dumb. <laughs> or but we'll try. Foolish. <sighs> Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. Okay, well, holes in ground are, Alas, are dangerous. The of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Iraq 2003 man I was really excited to like I should have known it was just like a prequel chapter or whatever <coughs> I was excited to play like in a different time and like playing these like grown men and stuff
Jason Kolchek. Colonel, good trip. Eric King. Rational and insecure. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Uh, apologetic. I'm gonna be nice to everybody. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. We're glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. The new year? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? Uh, this is my assistant. This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Cold check. First lieutenant, cold check. Well, in the briefing room? Is that Ashley Tisdell? Oh, oh, is that Ashley Tisdale? What's up, Maureen? Can't you keep up? Rachel King. Oh, she's related to the other guy, maybe. King? Nick K. <laughs> Romantic. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. The kissing sounds are just a bit too much for me right now. <laughs> Rachel King. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Huh? Husband? Think it's about time you came clean. Put your clothes back on. Straight I thought up. it was her brother. Hey, Rachel, are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Till death do us part. Should we? Oh, what should we do? Should we? Do we want her to? Oh, man. Hmm. <laughs> What type of a part? Legally a part? I don't know. Probably just like the war or something. They haven't been, they haven't seen each other. I don't know. But till death do us part, you know? I do. I don't know. I, I really want to like, something about these games makes me want to just make everybody assholes to each other. <laughs> like, should we make her loyal to her husband like have a change of heart about her husband or continue on with this fling hmm decisions decisions i have only made choices with my heart where possible hmm rachel she's abrasive guarded headstrong commanding she could be determined or romantic but those are in the background right now um well let's let's spice things up a bit let's just uh you know maybe i just don't think this is the right time that's bullshit there's never a right time soon nick i promise soon i'll see you at the briefing oh shit I hate her. I hate them already. You don't do that. If you don't want to be with your husband, then divorce him first. But don't be doing this. Is that a lighter? You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. Just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Wow. If only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. 
We got the CIA, we got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. Hello. I see you, old man. You're busting out those reps. Hey, uh, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. Well, miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? You wanna spot me, little lady? I see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess I every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. <laughs> so what's his malfunction? <laughs> oh, he's Again, just banging your wife. Lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. And he's ready for a lot of things, let me tell you that. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Light. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. That's my wife, or we know each other. That's my wife. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea, I'm sorry. Nice work, Hotshot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I doubt that. Shut up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal, lady. What is this place anyway? It looks like an old ballroom. Uh, that's exactly what it is. I guess Shadam like to get down on the dance floor. I think if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it would be an instant off with her head. Okay, so expected <laughs> to be placed me. under Iraqi control in oh, 2007. Under provisional Iraqi off, control, U.S. command, uh, Polish command, U.K. command. I wasn't done. I, I was done. But there was more stuff around I wanted to look at. Look, we failed already. There was probably something very important that we wanted to find and we didn't Colonel find King. it. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. Uh, I'm going to make him nice to her. I'll make her the queen bitch. I should bitch. have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated. I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. He wants to repair their relationship. Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. She doesn't. Orders. I'm now commanding officer. It kind of looks like neither of them are very interested, though, huh? <laughs> Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. 
This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. What is this guy's problem? You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage Why is facility. everyone so unlikable? This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. I got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake. Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds can bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, you could have been your papi. <laughs> what the? All right, that's oh, enough, Merwin. Sir? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder who's writing these. Um... Confident, keep it small, or request air support. Let's keep it small. We keep this thing small. If yeah. it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. I thought that's what he wanted to do. Oh, I am not He's paying right attention. Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase oh, I, our chance. Oh, I agreed with spotted. Merwin. Okay. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio silence within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. I'm ready. Clarice, help me set up the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. This won't be awkward Eric, at all. We need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. I've missed you. This is our big break. She didn't miss him. Rach. This is it. Oh. Everything I've worked on these past years. It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. I thought for. it was her. Oh. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. 
how we left it, things weren't so great between us. We that doesn't give you the pass to a lot cheat on him. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Don't say that. This poor guy. You're not wearing your wedding ring. Oh. Well? Hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit. Sorry. She got in that box of tricks anyway. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. <laughs> Let me play with How much it. Long for that download, Clarice. I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. He wears his ring around his neck. Ah. <sighs> I mean, I feel I feel sorry for him, but his glasses look really stupid. I'm sorry, but your glasses look so stupid. You need to fix that. Mailman. Okay. Well, let's see. What else can we look at? We looked at this. I guess we can talk to people. What's this? Survey group objectives. <laughs> To Directorate of Central Intelligence. Directorate of Central Intelligence. The objectives of the survey group are as stated. One, organize and direct intelligence capabilities across coalition government agencies and armed forces. Apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture, and exploit information on individuals facilities and operations relative to weapons of mass destruction. Organize and direct war operations to survey and exploit WMD sites within Iraq. The survey group reports direct to CENTCOM and the Director of Central Control. Operation findings in support of Operation Iraq Freedom to be published quarterly from 6-1-2003. Fascinating stuff. the hell okay um all right there's nothing there is. wp sir white phosphorus oh Just shit and smoke that's all <sighs> you know what i disapprove these are unauthorized if we break weapons conventions then we're just as bad as saddam I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. Loud and clear, Colonel. We won't be taking them on the mission. Nobody's gonna like him. We but I... Yeah. I played, um, what's I it am. called? I played Spec Ops. Spec Ops? I don't like that white phosphorus stuff. That is some bad shit right there. Spec Ops the line. Thank you. <laughs> you just got back from dinner and literally the first thing you see from this game is questionable hand motions. 
<laughs> Welcome to the game. <laughs> okay, subject. Urgent results needed. <coughs> to acting CO Rachel King. Confidential. Oh, let's read it. With the survey group becoming operational today, it is imperative to stress the need for mission success. Our military operations need a clear and compelling end state. U.S. forces have been engaged to end the threat to the international community from Iraqi WMD. Until we prove that threat, we cannot rightly justify the invasion under international law. With the cessation of hostilities, the risk of the regime destroying evidence of WMD is heightened. The survey group needs to move quickly to identify and exploit WMD sites and personnel. Our allies in the international community need reassurance that our intelligence services are sound. We look forward to your reports. Simon Fuller, Operations Head, DIA, Confidential and Personnel. Let's talk. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. So you're a technician, so you're afraid of heights? Uh, you're, tech you're my technician? So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. <laughs> Nobody likes this guy. His own wife doesn't even like him. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. Well, I wasn't done looking around and talking to people, but we got what we got. What? 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 You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. Who do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper. He's a nice guy. Around don't lie. Here, nice, don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind. Salim Othman. What is that? Some chocolates? Seize candies? Yes, I'll take that. I'll sign for that. That's mine. Thank you. Zane! And a gate! Zane? Okay, so he was, what did it say his, he was? Hopeful, mature, dutiful, courageous. Oh, well, he sounds like a decent guy. Okay. Hopeful and courageous. He's an Iraqi soldier. Okay. Happy birthday, Please. Zane. My, Please, my boy is becoming a man. Love always, Dad. What's that? Oh, bread? Ooh. Looks good. I feel like I just got a 
a flashback. Isn't, I mean, it doesn't really look like it, but it reminds me of it. Isn't there some kind of like brown bread that comes in a can? You guys know what I'm talking about? You know of it? Not bread crumbs. Hold on. I feel like I had this when I was a kid. And I liked it. It was kind of sweet. Yeah. Something like that. Why did we have... Why did we, like... Huh. I just... I, I'm sorry. I, I unlocked a memory. I unlocked a memory. Now I'm trying to figure out, like, why did we eat it? With what? Was it for, like, a certain occasion? Hmm. Did we just have it around the house? Just, just for funsies? Um, okay. The picture is folded over for some reason. So that must be us and, our, and Zane, the son, and then maybe, who's that? Daughter? Is that me? Is that what my face looks like? I, I love how <coughs> huge their kitchen feels. What a big kitchen. Okay, Highgate University Shield, Mr. Zane Othman. Application. Dear Zane, the board has approved your application for admission to Highgate University to read mythology, BA in academic year 2003 to 4 which commences on September 2nd. This offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements, failing which the university will deregister you from the course. A. Completion of your college studies to the projected AAB standards of grades. B. Obtaining a student's visa from the UK Home Office. We understand that current world events may create complications for your B visa application and relocation to the United Kingdom. I assure you that the faculty will assist and support your visa application in every way. For over 200, 120 years, Highgate University has helped talented young individuals from all walks of life achieve personal success, allowing them to thrive in the educational and professional world. We look forward to embarking on your own journey to success. Oh. Okay, so he's he's wanting to go study in the UK. And he got approved, but he's got to get a visa. Okay, so I looked at that. Where... I need, like, a bedroom or something. Here we go. Where's my son? Zane? Nobody home? Mesopotamian mythology. I can't read it? Oh. It's probably some good info in there. Oh, oh, here we go. What is some version of Horafat B? He still hasn't grown out of fairy tales. The heavens were no place for mortals. The Sumerians believed that the sky was formed of a configuration of domes, each hewn from a different precious stone. The outermost dome embodied An, the god of sky. The middle dome was home of the gods of heaven, and the lowermost dome was the abode of the stars. Sky, heaven, and stars. This, the number of domes varied between three and seven. The number seven itself had magical properties and recurs frequently throughout Mesopotamian myth. Seven demons, seven thrones, seven spirits, and the seven gates of the underworld. 
To the Sumerians, the stars and planets each had their own deities. Utu was the sun. Nana, later altered as Suen or Sin, was the moon. Nergal was ascribed to Mars. Nabu to Mercury. Marduk to Jupiter. Inanna to Venus. And Ninurta to Saturn. The heavens were truly the abode of the divine. And the earth below was given to humans. No soul could travel upwards in this worldview. Instead, they were confined, confined to their earthly domain even in death. Oops. I didn't mean to move on yet. Can I go back? I found a secret. I want to go back to their page. Oh, okay. Chapter 6. The Ancient Mesopotamian Underworld. In ancient belief, the world was made of earth, sea... There we go. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is difficult. One last cha uh, paragraph here. It is no wonder that the Sumerians were among the world's first astronomer astronomers. They charted the position of stars, identified planets, and plotted the movement of constellations. Although surviving records from the period are incomplete, it is now widely believed that the discoveries of Mesopotamian um, astronomy were passed on to the Western world and formed the basis of the classical Grecian sky maps. In ancient belief, the world was made of earth, sea, and sky and enclosed in a box of imperishable tin. The underworld, known as Kur, or the House of Ashes, was where people went when they died. Souls were led to a cavern deep underground where they endured a shadowed existence. Here, the only drink was dust and the only food was clay. There was no light, only darkness. There were no rewards or punishments for deeds done in life. Instead, a soul's comfort was determined by their burial. As the dead were often buried under or near the home, daily sacrifices of food and drink were made to the spirits of the departed. Family members who poured wine into a person's grave would quench their thirst in the house of ashes. The message to the living was to live well, be buried richly, and have many descendants who would supply food and drink in the afterlife for years to come. The dead could return to the earth as ghosts to punish those descendants who did not leave offerings of food and drink to them. Vengeful ghosts could inflict misfortune and sickness on the living, and maladies such as headaches, stomach pains, fever, and mental disorders could be attributed to the ghosts. Mesopotamian, Mesopotamian healers ascribed many Ill illnesses to the actions of ghosts, while others were caused by gods or demons. wonder if... One of our cast members is going to be a, a descendant of, of some somebody. And then they're going to haunt us. Not again. Idiot. What? Hello, uh, I'm Salim. Salim? Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. Again? I forgot. He was Zain with... He was Zain with my son. Who's Tariq? Yes, Tariq. They're with I found some stolen goods. I have a gift for him. Say nothing. Um, I have a gift for him. No, no, everything is okay. It was Eid Milad and I gave him a gift. Ah. She doesn't need to know or worry. I can't say what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what Yeah, 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 
ديني مش دلوقتي اه كابتن بصري اهلا يا مولاي لازم نتحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السل العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفين هم مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن طايرتهم توصل عندنا Compliant. Got it, or I must find my son. It said he's um, he's dutiful, but also his son probably is more important than his duty. I'm gonna find my son. I'm going to find Well, we tried. I don't know if that's your call to make, buddy. Coyote 2, this is Mailman 21 Actual. We're on approach and ready to go dark. Over. Copy, Mailman 21 Actual. You're on your own. Good luck and Godspeed. Roger that. Tango Mike, over. Oh, he's missing a leg. Can't face on, boys. We're coming in fast. Hey, Merwin. What's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? Why are you fucking in life? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> this reminds me of Predator. <laughs> the guy with the pussy jokes. Let's see. Jason is confident, pragmatic, dutiful, and heroic. Um... A pragmatic pragmatism is a word that I've heard all like so many times, but I, I never really knew what it meant. So what does uh, pragmatic mean, guys? You can tell me. Hi, Patrick. You good, boy. Hey, look, your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, now I got a fucking ear infection. <laughs> well, damn. How long you been sitting on that one? These yeah, two. Like I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. You two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Damn right. <laughs> hey, the fuck y'all laughing at? Okay. Okay. <laughs> K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Uh, all good, buddy? Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. He What's said on in there? this guy was Just upset. I gotta work through, man. About the prior right. mission. I'm chill. Um, I've got your back. I got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. Temper five. Temper five. These Temper two five? seem close. What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what? It's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. This is what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. 
You're all gonna die because I'm in control, I'm sorry to say. I am so sorry to say. I'll try my best though. So we're on opposing sides of this conflict here. Jason. Okay, so pragmatic, you're saying, is um, practical, focused, and rational. All right. And then Jason is who again? Oh, I'm still the same guy. Eric is the leader guy. Nick is the cheater guy. <laughs> and Rachel's the cheater girl. Okay. <coughs> So I don't get to play as Merwin or, or Joey? They're the most they're the two most entertaining people here. El American! El Asakir El American go! Sir, we've been made! Awaiting orders! Um Okay, assault or fall, fan out and hold fire. Let's be cautious, I guess. Fan out and hold fire. We're gonna sigh out this shit. Yeah, cause we didn't have, we didn't call for backup. So we should probably try to be stealthy as possible. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LC and bring in the Colonel. This rig's a bust. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, sit rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? Um... We'll find it, sir. Respectful. We have yet to carry out a full search. We'll find it, sir. You took a risk giving up the element of surprise, Lieutenant. But it looks like it paid off. No casualties and clean work. Thank you, sir. Nonetheless, any holdout Iraqis might now be on high alert. My team's ready for anything, Colonel. That went smoothly. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than the virgins. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for questioning? <laughs> yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Stay still. I'm just gonna <laughs> pat you down. السلام عليكم يا أخي لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة 
الطين مدخل مخزن السلال I'll make him talk any orders, ma'am. Say nothing. Let's let her do her thing. هسألك مرة ثانية فين مكان المخزن؟ The hell is that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. إيه ده؟ The fuck your voodoo shit. What the? What the fuck? Into can hen. Secret found. enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine. How did he cut himself like that? Okay. Um, collections? Secrets? This book describes the Sumerian underworld, which is referred to as the House of Ashes. This one's new. A pagan effigy with a sharp barb hidden inside it. Search the farm. Who keeps whistling? Someone on this team who keeps whistling. I can't say I'm a huge fan of whistling because I can't do it. So when other people do it, it pisses me off. I've been trying my whole life to freaking whistle. Tell me where the silo is. This man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed. في بندقية كبيرة قوية أكثر من أنت محتاجه للغنم. فين مدخل المغزن؟ Yeah, let's knock him. That was uncalled for. Don't go spitting on people's faces. Stand down, Lieutenant. The only language these people understand. I've got this under control. Are there any more captives? Yeah, in the other hut. Follow me. Keep a firm eye on this one. I don't think I'm really understanding the chain of command here. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, he shouldn't have done that. Pop him on the head. And she's just like, I don't need your help. I didn't tell you to do that. I command you. I'm stepping out of line, man. I'm trying to be helpful. Okay, got a premonition of a girl. Who is that? With um J Jason or whatever this guy's name is? She disarms him. Some girl disarms him. Okay. I don't know. She had a like a pon a a bun or ponytail. It might have been her. But it's kinda hard to see. Which way should we go? Oh, clearly not this way. I'm not digging the camera right here. Who's whistling? I swear Murrins brought some bad juju down on us. I don't believe in curses, the Tooth Fairy, or Santa Claus. The Tooth Fairy, yeah. Santa? Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. You're truly fucked up, Christmas, man. 
Oh, he's the whistler. Make sure this guy gets killed. There's shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you see? Jack shit. There was a silo. Where's all the tracks? Nah. Man, this is a fishing expedition. His precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow orders, Sergeant. The search is far from over. Aye, sir. We have here. We got Masks. some gas masks here. Secret found. Gas mask. And I think the secrets don't really tell us much. Like, it's just going to say a vintage gas mask splattered with black stains. Well, that might be interesting information. What are the black stains? Tell us the truth. I don't think anybody's going to tell you where the entrance to the silo is. Ah. That's heroin. It just keeps getting better by the minute. These people are nothing but common crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? I want this place turned inside out. Ooh. That's not good. Is that a uh, Salim? I'm hit. Oh, Joey's hit. That's what you get for whistling. That is horrifying, though. Down, get down. Are we gonna get our boy? Return fire! Go! Oh God! Is the quick time action? Quick time event time? Phosphorus, sorry. We gotta deal with this some other way. Give me some cover and get Joey out of there. Isn't that like a war crime or something? Oh god. Okay. Uh. 
I guess I'm supposed to actually hit them, not just when the target gets near it, huh? <laughs> Oh, dying, he does not look Wolf. good. I know you're hurt, but you're not fucking dying. <laughs> well, still, calm down. Your flesh when it's a paper cut. Just hold still. Just a flesh wound. Yeah, no, it's not. He is. I... Yeah. Damn. Say it for him. Just a flesh wound. What are you waiting for? Wait out and fight back! God damn it. All call signs. This is dropkick. Silence lifted. Can someone give me a sit rep on the contact? Over. Dropkick, this is Killjoy 2. We are under fire and going down. Targets have advanced into the LZ. <sighs> this getting worse? This is not going well. Oh, an earthquake? What is this? Get down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. Uh, do we shoot him? Um, well, he's running. Let's just, you know, it's war. I don't know. He shouldn't have ran. He should not have ran. Salim saw Jason kill the shepherd. Oh, shit. What's this one? Rachel told Eric that their marriage was over. Um, air support. Eric refused to bring close air support on the mission. Maybe uh, Joey would be alive if we brought the air support or the white phosphorus. I don't know. Not miss. No more killing. Salim chose not to shoot Jason. Okay. Here we go. No fucking way. Is the house of ashes under Rachel. here, I'm guessing? Rachel! Bro, forget oh, her! Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Whoa, right in the mouth. Looks like maybe we ended up in different places. Like, we didn't all fall in the same hole. Nick. Oh, cheater guy. Well, now things are getting interesting. Right when we have to end the stream. <laughs> 